close your eyes, and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. You've got to stay right here if you want to see anything, because all too often we live our, our life in sound bites and film bites, I mean little bits and pieces of things, and we're jumping around all over the place, and we don't, don't get to see anything continuously. But how do you hope to understand unless you stick with it and stay with it over time? Like your mind. What is your mind doing? What are the results of what it's doing? You want to stay right close to the mind so you can watch this, but all too often we're jumping off someplace else. So take this time to be here and stay here and watch what's happening. As the Buddha said, the basic insight that he gained on the night of his awakening was understanding causality. In other words, what causes what, and particularly what causes stress in the mind, what can be done to lead to the end of that stress. Now to see those connections, he had to stay there very continually. And he comes back and he tells us what he saw, but for that knowledge to have the same impact in our minds, we have to see it for ourselves. In other words, we have to stay with our breath continually. Because the breath is great for training the mind because it's the closest thing you have to the mind. That's a physical phenomenon. Your primary sensation of the body is through the breath. And it's like a mirror for the mind. When greed comes up, okay, there's going to be an impact on the breath. When anger comes up, it's going to have an effect on the breath. When fear, all kinds of these strong emotions, when they come up, they're going to have an influence on the way you breathe and the breath energy throughout the body. So if you're right here, you'll know quickly when something has happened. The telltale signs will be here. So try to get familiar with this area and make this your default mode. This is the place where the mind goes when it's not engaged in other responsibilities. Come right back here, because you're a lot more likely to see really interesting things here, really important things here. I mean, they've got us thinking that you've got to be hooked into the news pattern in order to be informed about the world. But your world is shaped by what you're doing right now. So you want to make sure that you're doing it really skillfully. Your life will be affected by other people's actions. That's for sure. But the really important ones are the ones that you're doing. As the Buddha said, you don't go to heaven and don't go to hell because of other people's actions. Even when in this in this lifetime. People can mistreat you, but if your mind is well trained, you don't suffer. People can treat you well, but if your mind isn't trained, you'll suffer. So it's the training of the mind that makes all the difference. So try to focus your attention here and keep it here as continuously as you can.